Hey, welcome to Mogs and Dogs. My name is Chad, and we are going to work on the truck again today. Today, hopefully, will be a pretty straightforward project, but we will see, as always. <laughs> so I just want to start off with a little background on this. We're going to change the oil today in the engine, and I want to give you a little backstory of things I've done leading up to this, because that wasn't exactly straightforward. So the thing that wasn't straightforward was what oil do you put in a 1984 Unimog U1300? And that is not a simple question to answer. What I ended up with was Shell Rotella T4 15W40. And that is actually what I use in my Montero. So I had a bunch of it on hand, which is great. Um, let me kind of explain how I got to this oil. So first thing we did is we look at the manual, right? Owner's manual, pretty straightforward. What oil do we put in here? This is our engine, SAE class 10W20 and 30. This is the amount, 14.5 liters and about 1.5 liters in each oil filter. So 17.5 liters total. That does not tell us much. So um, there's also a note here, you got number one, for engine with turbocharger use only engine oil S3 quality according to service product sheet 227, 227.1, and 228.1. So we go searching for these product sheets and there's a whole list of these on the Mercedes website and there, as far as I can see there is no 227 or 227.1 listed. They only had 228.1H, which stands for historical, so we went with that one. And in that one, we found about five different oils. None of them were this, <laughs> this class, which is interesting, and none of them were made in the U.S. or sold in the U.S., so completely useless. So on that sheet, there is a note that says check with 228.3 or 228.5, both of which are available online. So we go to those. And again, these weights are not really represented in either, but the list is much longer. And on that list, we have Rimula T4 15W40. So that's what's listed on the site. I look that up. I don't see Remula sold anywhere here. And so I'm gonna to have to just assume that the T4 and the weight is good. And the Rotella and the Remula maybe are the same thing. Maybe they're not. I'm sure somebody will get on and tell me that I completely screwed it up and it's totally the wrong stuff and I shouldn't use it. But <clears throat> another thing they mention in a different article that we found was in these old diesel engines using CI4 or CJ4, both of which this is suitable for. So I think, or you can see it here too, CJ4, CI4. I think this is gonna be fine. A lot of people also said oil is oil. I don't know how true that is or not. I'm not one to judge that. I am no expert at all. So anyway, that is what we're going for, for going with for now. And uh, we'll see how it works. Although I am guessing that I will not be able to tell the difference. Unless the thing blows up in the next two months, I will have no idea how well this works. So anyway, let's get started. All right, that looks completely full. It's up to this mark if you can't see it. It does look very dark, so I don't know that that's a good sign, but um, the engine is not eating oil. Uh, there have never been any leaks anywhere on this truck, so um, I expected it hopefully to be full, and it is. So 
that's good news. We're going to take the filler cap off, which is just right up here. So the oil drain plug is right here, and it is a 14 millimeter Allen wrench, which I will take off in just a moment. I have a five gallon bucket here to catch it. Now there's 17.5 liters, which is roughly five gallons. So I've got two buckets. I'm just going to fill them each half full. Two half full buckets should be a lot easier to maneuver than one very full bucket. So we're just going to halfway through change out to a second bucket. Okay, so that's pretty much done draining. Next up, we need to work on the oil filters. There's two of them, one right there, one right there. I believe there's a drain plug and a screw to take off the, the cover and get to the filter so we can change it. We're gonna change them, we have two filters. So let's try to drain them first. So this is a 14 millimeter. Let's try to uh, undo that. See what happens. There we go. So this is a 19 millimeter. I don't like that dripping. The heat drips. I'm gonna put the bolt back in. Alright, we'll deal with that later. Let's see if we can get this off. Okay. It's a uh, straight shot under the, the arm there. That's interesting. So to keep these things make sure I put them back in the right spot. I'm going to number them. That's one. Two.
All right, I've cleaned up everything and I think it's time to put putting things back together. So we have our oil cap here. We have our oil plug and we have our two oil filter canisters which have been cleaned out. Uh, we have the drain plug and washer that goes with that and then the bolt that holds the canister on. And same thing over here. So first thing I'm going to do is get a new crush washer for the drain plug. So get our nice crush washer kit from Bell Metric. Oh yeah. And this is what we're looking for. Our size looks like it's 26 by 32. All right, so let's take that. There we go. Let's go underneath and uh, put it on. Do a little degreaser. a thin coat around the entire ring. All right, next up, let's tackle the little drain plugs for the filter canisters. There we go. 10 by 14 by 1.0. So I guess the inner diameter is 10. Outer is 14. So we're going to need two of those. Torque on these is going to be 14 newton meters. 15 newton meters, sorry. Filter. I get these from Expedition Imports, EI. This is what we're going for. Oh, look at that. Huh. Comes with a crush washer for both. All right. I didn't know that. So we'll go in there. That looks too big. That looks way too big all right well that's not gonna work <laughs> okay i guess let's go figure out what the right ones are it has been two whole weeks and i finally got the filters in so this is how you spend two weeks doing an oil change. Anyway, return the old filters. Um, Expedition Imports is fantastic. Exchanged them. Uh, just took time to send them back and then have those returned to me. So this is actually, I believe, the right filter. HU932-4X. All right, so this is our new filter. And this is our old filter. As we can see here, they are the proper size. Fantastic. 
So let's go put these in and put oil back in our truck so we can use it. These filters come with an O-ring for the filter casing and actually also a crush washer, two crush washers. So if you order these, you don't need to buy any other crush washers. Filter. Like so. All right, now we're gonna to torque these bolts here. In the manual it says 40 Newton meters plus 10. So I do believe that's a stepped uh, spec. So we're gonna start with 40 Newton meters. On each one. All right. And then we're going to add 10, so take it up to 50. So here's 50. All right. And then I've already torqued these bolts these drain plugs to 15 newton meters and the drain plug for the oil pan is 50 plus 10 as well so we're going to do that one we'll do this one start with 50 since that's where we're at already okay and then we'll bump it up to 60 I think the total with the two filters is 17.5 liters, which comes out to about five gallons. So let's have some fun. Alright, so I think I'm going to run this real quick, cycle it through the filters. And then top it off. All right, so I ran the truck for a few minutes. I'm going to top off the oil, but I noticed that the air pressure was not going up at all. And now, after I turn the truck off, I can hear a 
leak. So that's not resealing very well. I think I'm gonna need to take that apart and try to figure out what the issue is with that. Let's go finish the oil though. One thing at a time. Looks like we're full. Okay, we're up to the top mark. We are done. All right, that's gonna do it for today. The oil change is done. I still need to look into that air leak, but I'm gonna do that in the next video. So thanks for sticking around. That is how you do an oil change. That takes two freaking weeks. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just have the wrong parts on hand. That's the key. So anyway, glad that happened here. Now I have the right um, filters in place and we have spares so that we can do that anywhere we need to and we will actually have the right ones. So this is the reason you probably want to do all these things before you get on the road anywhere. And that's why I am doing it. So anywho, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we will see you later.